So friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In this video, I will discuss with you how you as a fresher can get a job as a data analyst or as a Power BI developer in 2024. So I will tell you all those genuine things that you should do that can help you to get a job in this role. I know more than 20 plus freshers who have done all these things that we will discuss in this video and they have successfully got the job in this data analytics domain. So if they can do it as a fresher, then why can't you? So this video will be very important. So do watch this video completely till the end. And if you will sincerely follow all these things that we will discuss, then you will definitely increase your chance of getting the interview call and hence convert it into a full time role. So without any delay, let's start the video. And before that, if you're new to the channel, then do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos also you can follow me on instagram learn with gigs where you will find short videos on data analytics domain as well as regular job related updates in data analyst roles all right so we will divide this video into five chapters and chapter fifth is very very important now let's start with chapter number one so we'll discuss about the technical skills that you have to have command for this data analyst role. So you need to learn Power BI, Excel, SQL, as well as Python also. Now many of you have this confusion whether to study Python or not and how much to study Python. So I would like to make that thing clear. Python, you just learned the basics, which can help you to write the basic programming as well as learn a few libraries of Python. Majorly, you should focus on pandas and numpy. If you cover this much, that is sufficient enough for the data analyst role. And also you have to remember that if you have learned all these skills from guided projects, then don't think that you have learned these skills. Practice unguided projects from all these skills. And that's how you will gain the confidence and that's how you will you can see to yourself that I have learned all these skills. So practice unguided projects as much as possible. I hope from the technical side things are clear to you and we are done with the chapter number one. Now let's move to the chapter number two which is focused on resume. As a fresher or a person with a career gap or a person who wants to do transition you need to create a one page resume. Remember this always I have seen a lot of freshers who are just writing lengthy resumes and nothing is working for them because you know a recruiter gives hardly 10 to 15 seconds to analyze any resume so you have to convince them within those 15 seconds that they stop on your resume and they shortlist you so one page resume is must let me know in the comment box if you want me to create a separate video on the resume for a fresher and now let's talk about how many projects you need to mention in the resume from the power bi side you mention three projects from the sql side one project from the Excel side, one project and from the Python side, one project. So overall, six projects you need to mention on your resume. So I hope this confusion is also clear. And I'm also presenting you a snapshot of a resume. How does it look like for a fresher? You can see on the screen. So I hope chapter number two regarding resume is completely clear to you. Now let's move towards chapter number three. So chapter number three is basically on the job platforms. So I've seen many people, many freshers utilizing different number of job portals. For example, they utilize Nokri, they utilize uh, Hired, they utilize Indeed. So lots of platforms are there available in the market, but I would recommend you to focus only on Nokri.com and LinkedIn. Don't distract yourself by applying on different number of platforms. It doesn't make any sense. You will not get any output. So better you focus on two platforms, Nokri and LinkedIn. From the Nokri side, Make your profile 100%. Keep re-uploading your resume every day at 9.30 a.m. On the LinkedIn, keep your profile optimized. Put your resume in the featured post of your profile so that if any recruiter goes to your profile, they can easily see your resume. So I hope chapter number three related to different job portals is clear to you. Now next, move on to the chapter number four, which is the most, most important point for any fresher to get succeeded in data analytics roles. And that is online presence on LinkedIn. So if you would have followed this channel, Learn with Gigs, you would have seen many freshers interview on this channel, basically their podcast. And the one thing that I found common in all of them was their online presence on LinkedIn. If you think as a fresher, if you're done with the technical part, if you're done with the resume part, if you're applying, you will get the interview call. So as per the current job market, I don't think you will get an output. Exceptions are always there, but in general, you won't get the output. You can also comment down your experience also if you are only applying in different jobs related to your role. So online presence on LinkedIn is must. Now what is online presence and what you should do as a fresher? So first of all, build your network. You should have at least 500 plus people connected with you on LinkedIn who are related to data analytics domain. So this is the starting point, 500 plus connections in your network on LinkedIn. Once you are done with this, then you have to start 
posting your learnings start posting your projects start posting about your certification so basically you have to do marketing of yourself on linkedin so that everybody who is connected with you knows about you that you are a knowledgeable person you have to make those posts engaging you have to also tag 6 to 7 people at the end of your post who have a good follower base on linkedin because if you tag them and then they will come to your post and and engage with your post your post engagement will increase and making you reachable to wider audience you don't have to just scroll things on linkedin you have to you need to take some action if you are a fresher and that's how you will make yourself different you will make yourself stand out from the crowd and when i will cover up the chapter number 5 then you will understand more about it importance chapter 1 chapter 2 chapter 3 chapter 4 all those things that we have discussed you have to do as a fresher there is no other option you have to increase the probability of interview call then you have to do all these things now let's talk about chapter number 5 so chapter number 5 is basically which is your target companies and how you have to approach for the job vacancies in those companies so as a fresher don't focus on big mnc's companies i'm telling you honestly as per the current market situation you your probability of getting any interview call from a big company is very very less so you need to focus on startup companies you need to focus on mid sized companies so now you are clear that okay i need to focus on startup companies then what is the next step so whenever for example there is an there is a xyz startup company you got to note that there is a vacancy in that company for the data analyst or power bi developer role what you have to do next you need to reach out to a person working in that company on linkedin and ask for a referral okay what is what is different in this the difference is that now you have already made the online presence on linkedin so if you are reaching out to that person and asking for a referral then your chances of getting a reply from that person will be much much more than what it was earlier when you had nothing on linkedin so you can see the long term effect of making online presence on linkedin at the end it will help you to get the referrals in different companies because people will know you people will understand that okay this person has a good knowledge he has a good command over the data analyst skills so i should refer him and that is a very very important point referrals are the shortest way of getting the interview call you should know that and whenever you are asking for the referral always attach your port project portfolio also as a fresher to showcase your work five chapters if you have understood completely and if you implement all of them whatever i have discussed this with you do all those five things stage by stage since other since other freshers have got the result you will also get the result i can assure you so wish you all the best comment down any other question if you have in the comment box and stay tuned for the upcoming videos